I think I'm, look, I'm, I'm just a pretty, pretty cruisy, easygoing guy. Um, you know, someone that uh, loves my sport, loves my family. Um, you know, been in the, the footy industry 16 years now. Uh, so, you know, it's been a, a huge part of my life. The stars are at the ground level and there's none brighter oh, look at than that. Gary Abbott. Oh. It's meant a lot. You know, I can, can still remember growing up as a kid, uh, spending, you know, spending most of my time around the Geelong Football Club. Uh, I used to love going down and, and watching my dad train, um, you know, play on a weekend. Uh, and it was always a dream to, to play at the top level. You know, there was, a, there was a small period in my life where I lost interest in football. You know, I had a, a few other passions at the time, but, um, you know, got to the age of about 16 and, and uh, you know, realised that realised how much I loved the game and how much I really did want to play at the top level. You know, got drafted down there, spent nine years at the, at the uh, Geelong Cats um, and then, you know, been up here on the, on the coast for seven years now. Are you pretty happy with the way you went? Oh, not really. I think I could have done better, but... How would you play better? Um, well, I'll get a few more kicks and... I don't know. <laughs> What's your favourite position? Um, the rack rover or in the centre. So. Now, um, of course, everybody knows about your, your old man. Uh, what's it like uh, having that the, the Gary Ablett name to carry around? Oh, I just feel like any other kid, just, just normal. I first saw Gary Ablett Jr. in the change rooms at Cadinia Park the Geelong change rooms. Dad was playing, so he was having a 13 and team meeting. This private room, the door just swings open and in walks little Gary about this high and says, Dad, are we going home yet? It broke up the meeting, it broke up. I think it was a pretty tough meeting at the time and I started laughing, so the whole group started laughing. So that was my introduction to Gary, being a really, a nice lad, but a cheeky little boy. Him and Nathan, his brother, around the club room, they would uh, they'd kick the footy mad energy. I've never seen two kids with so much energy. Well, what about Dad? Uh, he's done well. He's what? He's done well. And what about you, Nathan? What do you think about Dad? Oh, he had snaps and he's done really good. He's a good player. Good you player. both must love your Dad very much, do you? Yep. All right. Boundary throw in in the pocket. Bomber Thompson can't do much now. Adler gets through. He can do plenty. Hooks it back. How about that? Clement the moment. Clement the man. The son of the man. Um, I mean, I, I probably, in my junior football, never expected to get drafted. I never believed I was good enough. Um, you know, to be running around knowing that um, you know I was on a senior list and, and that I had an opportunity that season of playing playing a game at the top level, um, you know, was a was a, a pretty amazing feeling. It's his seventh touch to oh, and again there's a turnover and Ablett, the little genius, drives it home. I wanted to make my own num my own name in, in football, and, and I spoke to my dad about that and. Um, you know, he was super supportive. He said as much as he would love me to, to, to take his number. Um, but, you know, he completely understands that, um, you know, me taking, taking the number 29, I guess. I've been fortunate enough to play with some pretty handy players over the years, but uh, I rate Gary right up there as probably the best player I ever played with all scenes. Geelong are the Premiers for 2007. It was a really special moment, not, not for just Nathan and I, but also for my dad, who had been in four losing premierships. He was at the game, he was you know, able to come down to the rooms and, and celebrate you know, the premiership with us afterwards. And you know, the Geelong Football Club um, had been such a huge part of his life as well. Um, and I think I said after the game that I was happy to cut the medal in half, and, and you know, because there's you know, no doubt that he, he, he deserved the premiership um, with all the hard work that he put in over his career. Johnson, can he pop it over the top? Adler somehow has found some space. At the last minute, Zach Dawson spills it. But a clever soccer by Scarlett to Ablett from 18 metres. He drills it long to the tip of the goal square. Big flyers wanted. Varco, handball's over. It's a step by Chapman. And Chapman's kicked the goal. 
it means a lot because they're so hard to win. You know, I think back over the 16 years and there's been a lot of hard work put in. Who knows, if they won last year, they might have found the will to hold off St Kilda today. Gary Ablett, the former Geelong superstar turned Gold Coast Suns marquee player. He has just been announced as their captain. He's been given the honour of leading the club in their inaugural season. Probably the toughest decision of my life, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> you know, the, the, the Geelong Football Club had been the team I'd supported my whole life. I'd been there for nine years. Um, you know, they were so good to me. Um, you know, and achieved so much there. Um, you know, super close with all my teammates you know, still are today. So it was a really tough decision to leave the Geelong Football Club, but probably took me a good 18 months to settle in. You know, I'd moved away, I didn't know anyone up here. Yeah, as I mentioned, family was, was still back in Victoria, but, you know, I, looking looking back now, I, I you know, I, I wouldn't change any decision that I've made because I really do feel, you know, I've, through all the challenges that we've had as a football club, I've grown a lot as a person, as a leader, and I feel like I've been able to take my football to another level as well. Held his ground in front, put it into the path of Gary Ablett, oh, and the are. Masters back! It actually is a huge honour. You don't really realise it until you see some of the things he does in games and you see his highlight reel. But, you know, we see him every day as just a teammate, but I know, uh, you know, at the end of his career and at the end of my career, um, it's going to be great to know that you played with, you know, possibly the greatest player of all time. And, you know, that's not something that comes quiet to every football player, so yeah, I'm extremely lucky. That's a goal! Ablett's oh. kick four! <laughs> he says, get out of my way! I'm the master here! I think what stands out with Gary, week to week, he's just so consistent. He's played at an unbelievable level ever since I've played with him up here and obviously in Geelong as well, so I see guys have a good game or two, but Gary has an unbelievable game just consistently every week. Probably my favourite highlight of Gaz was the goal he kicked against Geelong down there. I think it was his first time he played against Geelong back down there, so I was right um, next to him when he kicked it, and um, it was an unreal goal. And the Geelong faithful really, I think they started applauding him as well, so they knew how good, good a goal it was. Yeah, yeah it's certainly interesting having um, having played with Gary's dad, and now on the eve of his 300th game and coaching him. Uh, so I think when I first started, you just assumed that all great players just know how to play the game and they've got no insecurities and uh, it's all fine and now I've been fortunate to coach some, some great names, Lockett and Paul Kelly and Brad Johnson and Chris Grant um, and, and, and now Gary. His level of consistency to that level I re reckon ranks uh, with Lee Matthews. Yeah, he certainly played a big hand in um, the marketing and getting a, a, lot of, a lot of young people interested in AFL, you know, they come down and watch their first game and see Gary, you know, Gary goal from a boundary line or, 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 a, or a centre clearance for a goal. It can turn any young kid into an AFL fan, so, you know, he's done a lot for the AFL and, and a lot for the Gold Coast and a lot for our club. You know, from, from coming to not believing I was good enough to play at the top level, um, you know, to thinking if I was able to play one game at the top level, then I'd be satisfied and you know I could I could say that for the rest of my life I would have that that you know I could say that I was able to play at the top level um, you know to, to going forward 16 years and you know not you know one game away from from 300 games you know to to say that I've, I've played in three premierships one two um, you know I, I am very blessed um, you know the, the opportunities that it's opened up for, for my family and I I declare the winner of the 2013 Bradlow Medal, Gary Ablett, Gold Coast Suns. To perform as you know half as well as your dad, but uh, he's actually getting challenged against his dad as who's the better player, and that's a you know huge pat on the back in itself. But to to play with him and to, and to you know watch him now and get the best out of himself and you know he was always about bringing other people into the game and, and that's what I can always remember of Gaz and that's what 
I learnt off him and wanted to, you know, now do to my teammates. And he was a super teammate. Uh, he's a super guy. I just I want to be remembered as, as someone that gave my all. Um, you know, I I know personally the work that I put in. Um, but you know, someone that, that that made the most of the opportunities that I was given, um, that the ability uh, that and, and talent that I was blessed with. Um, you know, but probably more than that, just a man of integrity. You know, that's probably the most important thing to me.